Hi guys, welcome to another market news and updates. I'm your host, Omi. Welcome to Omi's YouTube channel. Things have been very, very bearish for us. We can clearly see we closed a weekly on a doji reversal candle. So things can get a lot of reversed here, but we do all know that we had been expecting something like this to be happening in the markets as well. So like Denzel Washington said, we can't move in life without having mistakes. So let's correct our mistakes today and start today's video. First thing first, what are doji candles? So we have a gravestone doji candle, we have a long leg doji candle, then we also have a dragonfly doji candle. If we look at the candle that we are discussing right now, which is right here, it looks a lot like the one in the center where there's high price, low price, open and close price is very, very similar. There's not much difference in the prices here. And usually what these candles stand for, we can check out on Investopedia. Investopedia is one of the best places to get all the details and understanding and all the learning of investment worlds, charts, patterns, definitions. You will get everything here. Some analysts predict this is an in sign of reversal. However, it may be time when buyers or sellers are gaining momentum for a continuation trend. Doji are commonly seen in periods of consolidation and can happen. Analysts identify potential price breakouts. So this is the reason this candle is very, very important for us. And this is going to guide us whether we're going to be getting affected continuously from the war, whether things are going to be changing because it can either reverse the pattern here. And today we've already opened a new candle. We have six days to go there. We saw a lot of upside and downside in this week. We went up about 16% and also came down about 16%. So we are, can already see that market has a very high volatility. Market mein bahut zyada volatility hai. Kabhi market upar ja rahi hai, kabhi market niche ja rahi hai. Ek certainty nahi hai kyunki zahir si baat hai. Abhi war jaise halat market ke andar bane mein aur war ke halat definitely commodities ko, tech stocks ko, cryptocurrencies ko, har cheez ko dunia mein affect karte hain. Kyunki jab do mulk lad rahe hote hain, there are gonna be some sanctions implied from another countries. And obviously we're gonna be seeing a circulating supply of money being cut off by those sanctions. So, paisa jo dunia mein aaram se ghoom raha tha, wo ab itne aaram se ghoom nahi sakega. And obviously Russia is a very very big player. They, they export gas, they export a lot of other minerals, aluminium. So they are a very, very key player when it comes to world economy. And we can clearly see that there are signs on the But good scenes are also that we've heard that we are beginning to see a lot of adoption going on, especially when it comes to Ukraine. Ukraine, again, we've heard that they've already bought a lot of BTC. And we know that Russia is also likely going to use BTC to cover its sanction problems and issues. So we can expect a lot, a lot happening in this space. So now we're going to see what our crypto greed and fear is saying today that we are at extreme 20 levels which is a very good sign. I kept saying we 19, 15, 16, 20, ek maar de. so we are clear that we have made a bottom here already and now likeliness and chances of the market bouncing are very, very good. Yes, the market is in retracement. Market has a lot of FUD. Um, last week we discussed it and we did expect this week be things would go like that as well. So if we look at our history, we can clearly see here we wanted something like this to be happening. Now we are forming something like this. Obviously things can't be similar. There was no war here and there's a war happening here. So there's a lot more volatility than that, that we had here. Either we was other volatility, either we was other fatta. But the fud here is about international and global tensions, things going on in the markets, not just in one country or two. It's just affecting all Europe, West and other countries as well. What we can expect from the news for us. So let's jump in and see okay, what is Walter saying to us today. So Walter said OPEC plus set boost to output 400,000 BD as planned at wedding meeting sources. Uh, IE members agreed to release 70 minute barrel of oil from stockpile this week, sources say. USA allies consider tapping emergency reserves at cruise price surge. So a lot of tension in the market with commodities, especially gold, crude, gas. Russian Warren Minister summons Canadian ambassador to Moscow. Putin calls out West an empire of lies after it imposes sanctions on Russia. Russian mission to US UN in Geneva tells reporters that Foreign Minister Lavrov visit to Geneva scheduled for Tuesday called off. Russian nuclear forces planned on enhanced combat duty in line with Putin's orders. So things have escalated to a level where we are also now discussing about nuclear forces, you know. Things are very, very tense right now in the market. OPEC Secretary General Bangonikot says that the oil industry is under siege, obviously, because suddenly the supply is going to be cut off. 
US bans transactions with Russian central banks. So Russian banks are taking a lot of hate like I just said in the beginning of the video. कि बहुत ज़्यादा मसले आ रहे हैं पैसे की जो flow थी दुनिया के अंदर economy में घूमने की वो एकदम से cut off होना शुरू हो गई है. State Department authorizes voluntary departure of non-emergency employees and family members at US embassy in Moscow. So a lot of repatriation is also happening. A lot, a lot of countries have pulled back their citizens from Ukraine right now because nobody would want to have any citizens suffer in a situation like this. A lot of problems here. Shelling intensifies in the city of Donetsk in eastern Ukraine. Investing, maybe they them what is investing telling us today. So, Russian nuclear forces, just like we saw from him. Similar news here as well. US ban transactions with Central Bank. Similar news as well. The main important thing we have here was because we also have to be concerned about March hikes, whether they got, we are going to experience any kind of hikes or not. US economic data this week will be ISM manufacturing PMI, vehicle sales, ADM non farm payrolls, jobless claims. ICM service PMI, non-farm payrolls, unemployment rate. So there are going to be some interesting things that are going to be discussed in USA's uh, federal systems this week. And obviously these are going to be affected by everything that's happening with the war and every problem that we are seeing right now in the world. Russia sanctions ripple across the global markets, stocks draw, ruble tanks, oil source. So whatever we were experiencing on Thursday, we are now kind of experiencing similar situation right there, right again. And then Russia, Brazil Bank in Europe is closure after savers demand money. So a lot of people who are Russian and Ukrainian are facing a lot of money right now when it comes to uh, withdrawing their money from their banks. This is why we always said Bitcoin is the answer. Bitcoin is going to be the key and Bitcoin has been playing a very, very important role right now for the both parties. US stock uh, futures tumble to start this week amid latest Russian sanctions. So we can clearly see a lot of US stocks right now are going down as well. Moscow Central Bank says it will not open stock trading on Moscow Exchange on Monday because they don't want to have any more future trading. Anybody shorting the markets, trying to make quick gains. They want to protect their investment. They want to protect their country's currencies and their big companies as well. The main thing is right now we're expecting some kind of uh, mediation coming from them and some kind of a solution coming from the meeting that's going to be held today in belarus so if that meeting happens successfully there will be a very very high chance that the market could react positively if we have any good signs coming from that so there's a big if there if that happens so we can expect that the better hone lage dono partiyan baith ke baat karne lagi hain baith ke baat karne ke baad cheeze solve karna chahti hain if things go towards that way that would be amazing but we still have to wait and see whether that happens or not so we can quickly go into BTC's domains. BTC domains, they get the BTC domains went down, went out of trend. Then we suddenly saw a lot of upside coming as the war intensified. People started uh, sending Ukrainians Bitcoin. I'm not sure, but if Russians were buying Bitcoin as well. So we can clearly see a lot of upside coming suddenly, but we're still out of trend. We're facing some resistance from our uptrend line. Hopefully, hopefully we really want Bitcoin to come into these levels as adoption increases, as dominance increases, as more buyers come into the market for buying Bitcoin. So if dominance in level, then it will be a very ideal situation for the market. Because 45 is a very significant level in history, where BTC always gives a good result to the market. Ko. So we can clearly see Ethereum. Ke andar, Ethereum is testing right now. It's weekly uptrend line which has been for a very very long time it's a very very serious situation right now when it comes to ethereum because if it does break this trend we will have a massive downside coming on it maybe probably going down to seventeen hundred dollars fifteen hundred dollars but we clearly know a lot of people on OpenSea use ethereum and a lot of nfts a lot of play to earns and a lot of bridges everything is built on ethereum so we can expect that the volume in ethereum will always be coming in and things will be better as this week progresses, we can't judge anything right now, but I'm still expecting E to just remain on the support levels. If we do get a chance, maybe go and test this level. And if you get a chance to go and test key zones, the problem with the key zone is every time we come close to key zone, we dump really, really fast. So this is one concern. And we've just been trading in these ranges right now for the past few weeks. So these ranges are about from 2200, about 3200, or you can even count it at 2900 because it's hardly been gone there after twice facing rejection so pretty sideways market is pretty pretty sideways we are having pumps we are having pullbacks but nothing is pretty clear nothing is pretty obvious right now in the market been very very interested in lately has to be gate io dot startup i just participated in metin evolution so metin evolution was a coin that just initial offered airdrops you had to just invest 20 usd so if you invested 20 usd you could have had airdrops into it very very soon the chart is going to be opening i think in the next six to seven hours so then whatever i bought is uh, is basically valued at zero right now so as soon as the chart starts whatever side it goes whether it goes negative whether it goes positive is going to be my clear luck so if there will be a massive bullish engulfing candle i will definitely be very very happy because this was my first startup that i participated in and i think startup is one of the best things you can do on gate.io because you're going to get a coin at its initial start 
uh, you can keep it for a long term if you want to hold it or if you just want to get into it for the first initial pumps and then just get out of those trades and probably get into other trades however you want to take that so for now the next that we are going to be having very soon about in 19 hours we have uh, port Ocol opening we have prone time chrono opening we have earth fund i'm really really interested myself to get into because it sounds very very good and it's already is about a dow control system mainly all dow control systems are doing very very well in the markets and then we have a phantom make em fame so phantom make em fame will be the first launch phantom opera with aim of enriching the entire ecosystem so this is going to be a massive point when it comes to phantom blockchain we already know phantom has been performing really really well so i would highly suggest all of you guys that if you do want to do get into gate.io startup blockchain asset discount offerings all you have to do is just click in the link given in the description below and join gate.io now with that link and you can participate in gate.io startups as well this is one of the best ways uh, that for you to start with small investments and learn about blockchains as well and mainly get those good dgen coins when they are nowhere else other than gate.io then we also had some people asking me why do i use which which indicators and what are the uses of these indicators the first one i like to use is market cipher market cipher guides me whether the money flow is up or down so when the blue water kind of thing is below that means that the market's momentum is down when the yellow is kind of up we begin to see that the momentum is rising now and then obviously these are buy and sell signals i don't really copy or use these signals but i use this functionality and this indicator to figure out which side has more momentum right now because momentum is the key for us moving forward into the markets so right now we can clearly see that the momentum in the markets is down anything that's down is going to go up like it was down here then it went up then it came down so this is a very very natural and traditional pattern for charts to go about then i also like to use rsi rsi helps me understand where we can expect divergences when the market is overbought when the market is oversold so it's whenever it's about above 70 we say that it's overbought whenever it's below 30 we say that it is oversold so ideally if you like to trade with rsi size you always buy when it goes below 30 and you always like to sell whenever it goes above 70 or even close to 70 regions if you see that the market is now coming down you can obviously sell off your places sell off your positions then we can come into macd this macd comes with stotic rsi as well this one is paid so i don't think most of you that are going to be using this with your free accounts will be able to do it but i'll still explain it to you this is that this has macd volumes inside so whenever the market is up like we can see here macd is also up whenever the market is down we can see that the market is also down then this one also gives you short and long signals like here it's, it did it give a long signal then the market didn't go long so obviously like i said i don't use them for signals or trading channels i just use them to understand what are the dynamics happening in the market right now because you always have to be ahead of everybody else in the game money moves with smart money in this world not everybody's going to be bringing money from their house every day and investing into protocols that's not how the market works people make money they make profits then they move their profits into other coins trying to make more profits so I hope you understand all this and it was a very, very useful thing for you. If you if it was, just smash the like button, share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's what keeps you motivated, make these videos for you guys. And that's all for today's video, guys. I hope you have a great day. Take care and be very, very careful with your trades. Bye-bye.